Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Next Goal Wins. We are previewing the West Brom game which happens tomorrow now. So what I think is going to happen in this game, I think the game is going to be a real battle of wits and willing. I don't think it's going to be a skilled game, I don't think it's going to be won by necessarily brilliant moments of class. I think it will be won by who wants the game more. West Brom obviously are coming off two victories, we're coming off a defeat in, in the cup but a victory in the league so both teams should be quite confident going into the game. West Brom obviously are at home and this game last season was the one where Jamie Vardy came alive so can he again stake a claim at the Hawthorns and silence the home fans? Vardy for us is massively massively important. Obviously he is what makes the team click, he is everything to us at the moment, he is what makes this team special so we need him to have a really 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 good performance because if he doesn't have a very good performance then I, I can't really see us scoring many goals away from him against West Brom who have looked solid in, in their last few games. Obviously we've got Pulis as manager and as a manager generally Tony Pulis is the kind of man who gets his team set up well, gets the basics right and does the things that you know are going to do to keep you in the league and obviously he's trying to do that at West Brom. He did it last season with them and he's trying to do the same again. Pulis is a master of, of getting games safe and going 1-0 up and then kind of shutting up shop. For them, obviously the sign of Solomon Rondon in the summer was their big acquisition and he started life quite well to be honest in uh, in the league. He's done nothing to, to kind of not look like he's worth the money. Obviously at the start it took him a while to adjust but since then he's been scoring goals and Rondon for me is a player I've rated when he was at uh, Ruben Kazan and then obviously he went to Zenit and he was at I think Malaga before that and he scored goals kind of everywhere he's been Rondon and for them to get him when he'd had such a good season at Zenit who were playing Champions League football shows that West Brom could pull in talent under Pulis that maybe they couldn't under previous managers like Irving and Pepe Mel and kind of a circus that, that went before them. On this game, like I said, I think it's going to be a battle of wits. West Brom won't concede many goals and obviously we are susceptible to conceding but at the same time I can't see them scoring many goals against us. I don't see them breaking us down very easily. Obviously got Berrino and Rondon but I don't see them getting many goals past us. Last season this game was massive and a turning point in our season was crucial to us staying up and they had a chance when Berrino could have squared it I think to Gardner and they would have closed the game out. It didn't happen and obviously we came back and, and won the game quite famously and that's something we need this season is to show that kind of willing and determination to put ourselves on the line like we have in every game this season and carry that on and obviously this is the first time we've come off a a midweek defeat, we went off the Arsenal defeat and then obviously bounced back well in the next couple game. But this is coming off a midweek defeat. A lot of the players didn't play who will play tomorrow and I think that'll help us. But the players who played will have kind of been embedded into the team. They know what the league form's like, they know what the team's about. So they don't need to worry about the, the cup defeat. So I don't think that'll affect morale at all. And speaking of morale, how brilliant was it to see Claudio take the players for pizza in midweek, he kept to his promise, but he took them, not just bought them pizza, he made a thing of it, the club made a thing of it, he took them to make pizza, he saw the good morale from the team, and this is the kind of thing that Ranieri's brought to us and installed in us, is that team belief and a willing to want to play for each other and succeed amongst each other. It's obviously a battle of places still, but all the teams seem to be happy with whoever's playing, so long as the team's winning, and that's the key thing for us, but the team morale and how the team are playing as a unit and as a whole is a wonderful thing to, to see. West Brom though, we have only won twice in our last nine attempts against West Brom, so the form books don't look good and obviously one of those happened last season. West Brom, we never seem to do well in uh, Birmingham anyway. When, anyway, against Villa we never really do well and against West Brom and Birmingham respectfully we never seem to do well when we're in Championship against Birmingham and League One etc. against like Walsall, I think we did, I think we not got knocked out by them in, in some something I think we might have even lost to them. So, you know, we never do brilliantly against uh, teams from the West Midlands, especially in Birmingham. It's never a strong point. So, two wins in the last nine doesn't really indicate anything because I never really look at his stats properly because it doesn't matter when you actually think about what the, the game situation is because it matters more how we are on form. All those other times we might have been coming off four losses, so we're not going to be looking to win those games, but if we're coming off victories like we have been, then there's no reason to say we can't put those demons to bed and beat West Brom. I think we will beat them. I think we're strong enough to beat them. Obviously, the influences of some players are going to be crucial. I'd like to see Dyer play. I know we beat Palace last weekend, but we didn't create as much as we did when Dyer was on the pitch against Southampton, for example. So Nathan gets a start. I think it would be good 
for, for us to have that kind of pace in behind the back and so we can really get balls in and get to the, the byline against West Brom because their defence isn't fast. You look at it, they've got McCauley and they've got players like that at the back but I think we can get behind on pace. We saw last season when Vardy got behind Lescott, obviously in that place for Villa, but we got behind their defence, it was easy because we had pace. So I think Dyer has to play purely for that reason. Um, we've failed to keep quite a few clean sheets against uh, West Brom in recent years as well. So, you know, 14 league games in a row it is that we haven't kept a clean sheet against them and that could be detrimental to us. I mean, it's not brilliant, but we don't keep clean sheets many um, very often anyway. So it's not like it's a, a rarity for us not to keep a clean sheet at the moment. But I do think I'm going to win this game. I know there's a few people in the punditry and stuff have been saying West Brom are going to win, but I think we're going to win this game. I think it's going to be 2-1 to City. I'm not sure where the goals are going to come from. I, I'd go for the same team, but I would bring Dyer in, like I said. I just think Dyer can offer something to the team that we don't have when he isn't on the pitch. That direct kind of pace with end product. I know Albrighton obviously is brilliant and his end product is phenomenal, better than Dyer's, his crossing's brilliant, but his pace isn't at up there with those levels of Dyer. He can burst past someone, obviously Schlupp can do that on the other wing and I think pace in this game is going to be crucial because of West Brom's defence and, and what it's like of. So, yeah, I, I, but as I say, I'm not sure it's going to be an easy game to score in. Pulis, since he's come in, has I mean, kept more clean sheets than any other manager in that period with, with West Brom. They've kept 16 clean sheets since Pulis has been in charge. So, you know, can we win the game? Yes. Will we win the game? I think so. But I think it's going to be a real, real slog, the game. I think it's going to be a tough game. I don't think there's going to be goals flowing in it. I think it'll be very similar to the Palace game last week where both teams will kind of look to, to settle early on. Obviously, we're away, so we don't need to win. West Brom will want to win more than us, but I think it's going to be a game, again, that's won on the counter-attack by either side, maybe even by a mistake like the Palace one was, or by a massive moment of brilliance from someone. But if Vardy can keep up his goal-scoring streak and obviously get even higher in his record books, then we will be coming away with the three points from the Hawthorns. West Brom, though, will cause us problems. I don't think anyone should discount them as a team. I don't think anyone should... Look at it as a game that I, I, don't, I, I think we're guaranteed to win. I know we won it last season, but when they came to our place, it was a very, very dull game. So they will close us down in areas. They've got good midfield. They've got people who can pass the ball. And if Rondon or Berrien are on a bit of form in the game, then you'd expect them to kind of to go on and, and win the game, to be honest, as much as that sounds bad because our defence are leaky. We do let in goals in the league. But on a positive note, as I've said multiple times in this video, I think we are good enough to win this game and win it quite comfortably. But one key point we have to worry about is the 15 minutes before half time and the 15 minutes after half time because West Brom have scored all their goals in that period, unbelievably so. So if we can hold them out for there, I think we'll be uh, we'll be rolling home to Leicester very very happy. An amazing stat that that's the times they score. Obviously we score a lot of late goals, but. Incredible stat, but that's when they score their goals. So keep them quiet for them, shut them out, get a goal, get two goals, do what we did against Norwich away and get a massive three points towards us finishing real top, top table. So anyway, that is all for the video. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the game, your prediction. Please like the video as always and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Come on, City.